BlackRock, the shadowy asset manager with a $10 trillion portfolio, is bullish on crypto. But it's not XRP or USDC that they're excited about. Their focus is on a different niche entirely. But don't take my word for it. Just listen to Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock himself. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. So he's essentially talking about a niche called real world assets or RWAs, which includes a wide range of assets that can be tokenized and brought on chain. Now, you may be thinking, wait a sec, aren't those just security tokens? Those have been around for years now, and you'd be absolutely right. This isn't new per se, but unlike before, the crypto world is finally ready to handle this niche. Also, if a shadowy puppet master like BlackRock is interested, then we better take a closer look. In just a minute, I'll share several RWA projects that you could potentially invest in. But first, let's explore the bullish thesis behind this niche. Like why is BlackRock so bullish on it? And should we be bullish too? So real world assets includes things like real estate, gold, fine art, stocks, pretty much anything that exists in the real world. And this niche tokenizes those assets and brings them on chain so you can use them like any other crypto token. That's pretty simple. But then the question becomes, why would we even want that? Well, the idea is to bring the benefits of DeFi to real world assets. I'm talking things like fractional ownership, global liquidity, 24 seven trading, and more transparency in markets. But I think the biggest benefit of RWAs is that it changes DeFi completely. Because rather than chasing yield by investing in a chain of Ponzi tokens, RWAs give us sustainable yield with close to zero risk. Think about it, if tokenized treasuries or corporate bonds were around this past cycle, maybe people wouldn't have put their money with BlockFi or Celsius. So there's some real benefits to this niche, but is it all just hypothetical or is there legit adoption going on? Well, we did see a French investment bank take out a stablecoin loan by using mortgage bonds as collateral. We also saw the Monetary Authority of Singapore test out currency swaps by using tokenized Singaporean dollars and Japanese yen. In 2022, the total value locked across all RWA protocols surpassed $2 billion at its peak. And when BNY Mellon asked institutional money managers if they were interested in tokenized products, 91% said yes. So the demand here looks undeniable and real. That's why I don't think it's crazy when I hear predictions that this niche will reach $10 billion by the end of this year and $16 trillion by the end of this decade. That is a staggering number, but I don't think it's unrealistic given that the addressable market here is pretty much the whole world. So we got a massive addressable market plus clear benefits to this approach. But one question remains, why now? Security tokens have been around for a while, but only recently has the crypto world developed enough to properly handle them. We got battle-tested DeFi protocols that can handle things like liquidity, lending, and oracles. And we have mature blockchains that can handle settlement and clearing in a reliable manner. So all the pieces are in place for this niche to accelerate and take the crypto world by storm. Now, it's time for some RWA projects. And trust me when I say there's some real gems here. But before we get there, I wanna show you this. This is a hardware wallet, believe it or not. And it's made by Tangem, who's also the sponsor of this video. It's a great way to store your RWA tokens if you decide to buy any. And this isn't your typical hardware wallet that requires some fancy device, cables, and a computer to use. It's literally just a card with a microchip and an app on your phone. Tangem completely reimagined the hardware wallet experience and I'm all for it. Like no more seed phrases, the private key is on your card. And if you lose one, you have backups too. It's also protected by an access code to prevent unauthorized access. The chip itself is super secure. It has the same level of certification that electronic passports have. And they pretty much support all the coins out there. I'm talking close to 3000 coins on 26 different chains. If you wanna see my full review of this wallet, then go watch my other video that I'll link you below. Otherwise, if you wanna buy one, then use my code COINSIDER for 10% off. Okay, back to RWAs, and let's start with my favorite project in this niche, Centrifuge. This project has a special securitization process to bring all sorts of RWAs on chain and make sure that they're all fully collateralized. What's unique about them is that they support assets that we don't usually see in the crypto world, like invoices, mortgages, and micro lending. 
They even have a full legal process mapped out in case someone in the process ever defaults. Block Tower and MakerDAO have already funded over $200 million worth of RWAs through Centrifuge. So that's undeniable adoption. Oh, and they also have their own CFG token. Moving on, we have Ondo Finance. This project is cool because it lets people invest in security tokens for US government bonds and even high yield corporate bonds. That's honestly a better way to earn yield than putting your coins in lending services like BlockFi or Celsius. Ondo Finance also has their own Ondo token, which is not yet available on the public markets. Oh, and check this out, BlackRock. Next, we got a picks and shovels project called Securitize. This is a project that helps business raise capital with security tokens. I've actually heard of them multiple times in the past, so they seem to be an established player in this niche. But unlike other projects here, Securitize does not have their own token. But this next one does, and it's called Goldfinch. They're all about lending to businesses around the world with a strong focus on emerging markets. Their ultimate goal is to bring the world's credit activity on chain, and they do so by enabling unsecured lending. Ending. While that process is more complex than I care to explain, just know that Goldfinch has amassed over $100 million in total value locked so far. And if you're wondering, their ticker symbol is GFI. Next, there's TrueFi, another project in the unsecured lending space. But they set themselves apart from other projects by utilizing an on-chain credit score in their lending process. Their governance token is True, and they have about 30 million in total value locked. Next, we have Polymesh, a different project than all the other ones. It's a permissioned blockchain specifically designed for security tokens. That means it's built with identity, compliance, confidentiality, and settlement in mind. It is permission, so I'm not that interested in it, but they do have a Poly X token that's used for staking, paying gas fees, and governance. Next, there's a project I'm super excited about, but it hasn't even launched yet. It's called Backed Finance, and they're creating ERC-20 tokens that track popular stocks or ETFs. That means you could potentially hold tokens that track Google or Tesla in your MetaMask wallet. That's pretty awesome, and I would love to use that but it does look like I'm forbidden because they wrote in big bold letters that they will not be registering with the SEC and hence US investors cannot participate. What a bummer, but it makes sense because remember how the SEC freaked out over Do Kwan's mirror protocol for doing something similar? So yeah, I can't use this platform, but perhaps some of y'all can. Now, before you just ape into any of these tokens, keep in mind that they're all super early and are high risk. Most of them are under 100 million market cap after all, which makes them tiny relative to other crypto projects. Also, another pro tip for you is to check out all the sub niches under the RWA umbrella. This project's focus on custody, liquidity, tokenization, and each of those sub niches have potential gems as well. Anyways, I'm personally bullish on RWAs and I've already scooped up some of these project tokens, but it was a small amount though, because like I said, they are super early. And if you do invest in them, just keep in mind that there are risks and hurdles as well. Like these are securities, right? So regulatory guidance is of utmost importance for this niche. Also, this niche needs to figure out how to handle defaults, how to minimize cases of fraud, and they need great KYC processes as well. So point is, the sky's the limit for this niche, but there's a lot of work left to be done. Let me know if you are bullish like BlackRock is, and don't forget to check out Tangem and use my discount code if you want one.